Praise God. Uh, this has been so rich. I don't believe that confirmation is even necessary, but uh, I just wanted to say this. I, I thank God. I thank my precious Lord for hearing and answering prayer. Because I believe that, that prayers are going up for many in our midst, and the many that are not here this morning, that they would come to know the real purpose for being here in this old world. And God's answering that prayer, and he's also answering the cry of the hearts of God's children that have come to him, that the relationship that he so desires, that it's the center of that purpose, would be made so much more real to our hearts. That, uh, that we cherish him just as he cherishes us. And that we begin to learn. You know, we have to have our minds renewed. The scripture speaks of our minds being renewed by his word and by his spirit. And I am a candidate for that. I long for that more and more. And, and I, I believe as we, as we cry out to him and ask in faith. Um, and, and, wh and why do we do that? Why do we do that? And because he's putting it in our heart to do that. Because it's the center of his purpose to bring us closer to himself, to teach us, and to show us how much he loves us, what he has done for us, and what he's called us to. And it'll make folks, as, as these truths that we've heard here this morning, become more and more real to our hearts, to where we truly set our hearts on things above as we need to, as we truly set our minds on things above as we need to, and are renewed in our minds, and and come into a closer daily communion with our precious Lord, that relationship is going to grow sweeter and sweeter every day. To the increase of His peace and His joy, there is no end. And I rejoice this morning. I just, I thank God for this living word, this living bread that He's broken here this morning and shared with us. And I thank Him that I believe with all my heart that as we partake, and as we exercise ourselves in it, as we move forth in faith, saying, Lord, I believe in you to make this word real to my heart. I believe he's going to hear and answer that prayer too. Amen. Amen. I thank God for what he's doing. I believe it's a late and dark hour. That's part of why he's creating this deeper hunger and thirst in the hearts of God's people. And we're crying out more and more. It's not just happenstance what the Lord has brought forth here this morning. It wasn't because Phil envisioned it. It wasn't because he necessarily wanted it of himself. It was something that God gave him. And God gave it to him for him and for us. And I'm just rejoicing. God is so good. God is moving in a special way in this hour to draw us into the center of his will and, and to impart unto us the passion of his purpose because he's passionate about it and he wants us to become just as passionate about it. I thank him for his love. Praise God.